Most of us do not hesitate to reach for Tylenol when we have a headache, but if you're pregnant, you may want to think twice. A new study from researchers at the University of Illinois is linking acetaminophen with delays, language delays in children. Joining us now is Professor Susan Schantz, one of the authors of the study. Professor Schantz, thanks for joining us. Can you explain for our viewers what exactly you learned? Uh, sure. Um, we were looking at uh, Tylenol or acetaminophen use during pregnancy and the relationship to um, language development in children. We looked at language development at age two and age three. And what we found at, in two-year-old children is that um, those whose mothers had taken more acetaminophen during pregnancy, especially during the third trimester of pregnancy, had smaller vocabularies and uh, shorter sentence lengths. Um, so um, their, their language was delayed. Mm -hmm. Certainly an eye-raising finding, mm -hmm. eyebrow-raising finding. In your findings, did you see if there was a threshold for just how much acetaminophen use can make an impact? We can't really tell that from the okay. type of study that we did. It was a correlational analysis, so just looking at um, the amount of acetaminophen related to um, language scores. So we can't really um, um, make that kind of a distinction from this type of study. Sure. So what comes next for this research? What would you like to see happen? Well, we're continuing to look at other aspects of neurodevelopment in these children. We're looking at um, behaviors such as attention problems and ADHD and, and um, we're also planning to follow the children to see if um, language delays that we've seen at age two and three persist as the children get older. Fascinating. Professor, if there's one thing that you want someone who may be watching this, who's expecting to take away from the study, what would it be? Well, I, right now, acetaminophen is the only analgesic that is considered safe for pregnancy. So I don't want women to go away thinking that they should not take it during pregnancy, especially if their doctor recommends it. If a person has a high fever or severe pain, those can have negative impacts on the fetus as well. Mm. But I guess what I would say is that maybe to use more caution, um, if there are minor aches and pains, do you really need to take acetaminophen? Because it is, I think it is overused. Susan Schantz, Professor Emeritus from the University of Illinois, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.